everyone, so it's day three of my seminar. As you know, last week got canceled because of a snow day, hooray. So I caught up on all my midterms, but by the time I looked up from my study cave, I realized that, oh crap, I have the seminar now. So I'm leaving later than I would like again. Um, hopefully, you know, I'll get the hang of it uh, ne the next couple weeks, but right now I'm pretty much just going to be like right on time for the seminar. So I'm leaving now, it's going to take about two hours, and um, because of that I don't think I'm going to be filming too much. I mean, there's not really much going on right now. It's technically the second day, even though this is the third seminar, it's the second day of class and there's not really anything interesting going on. Like I haven't made friends yet, I haven't made any like connections right now so um, sorry about that but I'll definitely film whatever I can today <laughs> it might just be like food and books see you So I found my class, I found out where it's going to be, and it's going to be in a conference room inside of one of Columbia's medical centers. Um, it's part of the dental program also, so I'm really excited. I already took a peek in, but what happened was when I started uh, vlogging inside the hospital, um, people were giving me dirty looks, which I guess it's understandable. I mean, um, people need their privacy. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you as much of the building that I'm going to be in as possible and we'll see how that goes. Um. Hey there! So I found out where my class is going to be. It's going to be in a conference room inside one of Columbia's medical centers that's affiliated with the dental school. So I already checked it out. Uh, I checked out where the conference room is and I'm pretty excited. Um, it's I still have an hour left before class starts. I've been chilling at a park here to vlog because I've been getting very, very strange looks, um, especially from the people inside of the hospital. So I don't want to, you know, be a bother to anybody. Um, I don't want to film, you know, workers unnecessarily or I, I definitely swore off filming patients, of course. Um, so when I go back to the building, I'm just gonna film like stuff within reason, you know, that is like totally okay with the security guards and um, the workers there. So yeah, I'm just gonna go back into the building and uh, just be as respectful as possible because when I was vlogging there, um, yeah, it, people didn't seem to like it. So um, understandable. So. Um, but thankfully there's a lot of parks here and I won't seem terribly strange if I talk in a park bench to myself. People might just think I'm just like a weird city person. So yeah, that's it. Um, I'm going to show you, uh, you know what, let's go down.
So our group's topic is going to be about the positivity of aging and how to destigmatize de the aging process because uh, ageism does exist in the elderly community and we want to make sure that um, our clients feel, you know, comfortable and that they're they're humanized, you know, they feel like like people and um, that's these are basically what we're going to teach for a workshop to uh, Columbia. So um, my art assignment is. Basically, uh, so you might be familiar with something called an exquisite corpse, where you basically take a drawing and then you, you cut it into thirds, and then you redistribute the drawing so that the face, the body, and the legs are completely different. So um, here I drew three examples of what how people might draw what they think an elderly person looks like. So the prompt is basically going to be like, um, when you think of an old person, what comes to mind and draw that. So um, you might have some people that will draw like very realistically. Uh, you might have someone draw like in a more maybe caricature kind of style. And another person might just be like, well, I'm not an artist, so let me just draw a stick figure. Um, so these these are kind of like three examples of how people might depict an elderly person. They also might depict them, you know, like as handicapped or maybe even having like some sort of addiction. Like uh, this guy over here is like sort of has a beer belly going on. And so um, the whole idea is that when um, so on the back of these cards, um, you can see it's already cut into thirds like that. So it's, it's going to be like that on the back of all the cards. And when people... Uh, so what people have to do is draw their initial assumptions. So these are, you know, what what they're going to be drawing pretty much. And when they when they get the piece of paper and they draw what they think an elderly person looks like, on the back of the sheet will be, like, it'll already be segmented into thirds. So what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to, like, fold pretty much back and forth the uh, parts where, where there are lines in the back. And once they've creased them, they have to tear it off so that um, when they do that, these images will end up looking more like, um,